Oop. Oh, okay. my controller. Good job. Stun spore. We found a wishy washy in we the We found aisle. a wishy washy. It was a pain in the ass to get here because I don't know the path. Luckily, I didn't run into any. <laughs> Into any um, torpedoes. One tried. Surprised I didn't get hit by it, to be fair. Yeah. They really be out here trying to get you. Okay, wishy washy got. Which means now I've got a free Delmize once I get to it. Yeah. It's a 10% chance it's the best you got. Does it need to be a specific weather? I don't think so. No. Cool. Well then, here's hoping. You got me nervous now. I'm double checking. There's a cloister over there. It's pretty neat. Cloister. Wishy washy. You will be. Kyogre Light. Okay. Catching you so I can get down my eyes. <laughs> oh, there it is. That's fine. This it's area definitely is gonna done. get you. Yeah. Yep, yeah. yeah. aim for the beach. Oh lord, he coming. Yep. Oh, there's another one to your left. My left? Yep. Go! Ah, oh, that's fine. Yeah, they, they're gonna catch up. Oh, that was cool. So you wanted this. I'm coming, darling. Good. I'm glad someone's enjoying this. Challenge Beach. Now I have to fish here. Oh god. It's fine, we've got one. Actively have a Pelipper. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, this one's gonna take a minute because it's a ten percent. The other two are forty and fifty percent. Just, just do three fishes, and if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. And then we'll cut to when we get one. When does it pop back up? There it is. Oh, for two. Oh, it doesn't have schooling. What other ability do you have? That's all it gets. Oh, when level 20 or higher. Yeah. Oh my god, you poor thing. Dead. Good.
Alright. We'll see you guys when we find a Delmice. Yep. So we got settled in to uh, to do this for a, a while, and like five minutes in, we found him. Yeah. He's a grass type. Can I still stun spore? Probably not. Grass yeah. steel. Yeah. Oh no, grass ghost with steel tendencies. Yeah. <laughs> grass ghost with, with with a little bit of steel dipped in there. Yeah. You technically live underwater, right? I mean, he is an anchor. Cool, yeah. I like that ball, too. Yeah. Thanks, Catching Charm. No, it just increases the chance of critical catches. That's all it does. What, you gonna, what did you want to name it? Because I have a name in mind. I don't even remember what I called it. I uh, don't have a set name for him yet. Oh, I have a name. Sencho. We will get rid of... Blockade. Put it in the box. I need one more Pokemon. Okay. I mean, not the worst. Could be a bad attack stat. Yeah. I don't see it being like a... I don't think it's a special attacker no, anyway. No, so we should be okay. Let's and it's see. only level 17 too, so... So I'm fighting Raihan. Yeah. Let's see. But I'm pretty sure we're about to do all that bullshit with, with uh, Rose, though. Are you sure? Or is that at Wimbledon? I felt I, I thought that was like right before the championship fight. That might be. That you're right. Yep. We go through the the whole finals thing, then we stop, we go do Internatus, come back and fight Leon. Yeah. Okay. So then yeah, you've just got the, the Raihan fight. Ah oh, fuck. And then I gotta deal with all the other shit. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I have to fight the hardest gym leader in the game, let's be fair. Yeah. Dude's like a legit threat. Let me see here. What do I need to worry about? Oh, okay. Alright, so he doesn't ha he's only got Sandstorm for the first fight. The second okay. battle has the, the multiple uh elements. Right, because you're doing the double battle in the in the finals, right? I think. Because Gudra has rain dance, but his Torkoal has drought. And his his Turtonator has Sunny Day. Yeah. Flygon has Sandstorm. Sandaconda, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Protect Glare. Fuck you. Okay, so I really need an answer to his dragons and ground and rock. Dragon, ground, rock. Silvando, so with this fairied move, yeah, does that pretty well. Yeah. And Xenos and Frenzy are pretty pretty well balanced too. But I would only take one just in case. I'll take well Probably it, take it's Frenzy. It's a double battle, isn't it? Breaking, against Raihan? Yeah. No, I think it's just a regular fight. I it's think, double battles going into him. I think, I think he I think his gem is double battles. Because he does the the whole thing of the elements. Like that's his that's his big gimmick is why have why use a turn to set up when one of the Pokemon on my team just does it. Hmm. 
if that's the case, I'll have uh, Silvando. But go with Frenzy. You sure? Yeah. Against a Flygon? Yeah. His Flygon doesn't have any ground moves. Frenzy does. Flygon, and... <laughs> Flygon has Thunder Punch. Okay. <laughs> yeah, Silvando and, and Frenzy would be the way to go because you've got I'm a nervous ground because move. it's got breaking, a Breaking Swipe, which is a AoE dragon move. I don't know how strong his Flygon will be. Frenzy's defenses are almost as good as Xenos. You sure? Yeah. Yeah, it's not too bad. Well, a little off. He's doing his best, though. He's doing as good as he can not being a pseudo-legendary. <laughs> well, I mean, come on now. Gotta have your bullshit in there somewhere. Yeah. Me, the person who's been like, yo, you would really like Jangmo. You would really like Jangmo. Gets a Jangmo, calls it your bullshit. Yep. Uh, let me see what all we got for the gym, but if, if it's just do this, then straight gym, I'll go find something to catch. We do have some ice types sitting around. Yeah. If you need to trade, trade out. Got your bear tick. Who would I trade out? Though? I don't want to. You could rough. take Kofi. <laughs> yeah, I could take Kofi. Well, yeah, that levitate. would be a strong. Yeah, yep. that would be a very strong mod. I'm gonna swap out Frenzy. Okay. And put Kofi in. Kofi, how was the bench? You stopped being useful at the same level that I caught this fucker at. Bear tick isn't great. Does have snow cloak, but none of his mons use, use hail. hail. Uh, Scuttle can learn hurricane. Could always take Runagus. I could. And not worry about sandstorm at all. That flagon has crunch. Take out Roe because that Turtonator's going to fuck it up. There, Roe's not or Turtonator's not in this. It's just uh. Gigalith, Flygon, Sandaconda, and Duraludon. Hmm. The reason I'm looking at this more in-depth than the others is because he does bullshit, and I'm trying to figure out what his shit is. So let's see. If it is a team thing... Well, we might as well just cut here because you're going to have to train whoever's there anyway yeah. and put it all together. We'll, well just do three things in one episode. That's fine. Okay, so I figured what I want to do is I'll take the cub food that you got, and I named him E. Yeah. So I finished the, the Isle of Armor type stuff. You did, like, the um, intro, didn't you? No, I finished it. Oh. Like, basically, uh, do, finishing off the cub foo will finish off everything in the, the Isle of Armor, but I did most of the legwork. Um... So you had to do three trials okay. um, to test yourself in the dojo, which go to that second fly point. Yeah. Oh, well, really you're just trying to go to all these exclamation points and, and put the cub fu in your number one slot, basically run around with him. Um, okay. So the story for the Thing of Honor is... Um, there's this new guy gonna join the dojo. We just kind of happened Whoops. here, and uh, boo boo keys, and join the dojo. the The girl is trying to join the dojo so that she can pass all the trials and become an actual gym gym leader. Oh, okay. Um, that's why she doesn't want you to be there because she's trying to. You've beat her already. She's trying to get you to move the fuck on so that you can just kind of 
Um, don't take my spot. Yeah, don't take my spot. Uh, so I don't want your spot, bitch. You have to beat three trials um, to get the dojo's armor. And uh, the first trial was there's these three super fast slowpoke. And you have to go and fight them and defeat them on your own. Okay. So you go around in the overworld, find the three slowpoke, you beat them, and uh, that's trial one. Trial two is go into, into the cave and find the max mushrooms uh, so that they can make the max soup. No problem. Trial three is you have to fight the um, the girl because she happened to, to uh, pass all all the trials up to that point as well. So the third trial is whoever w wins the fight gets the armor. So you beat her, he gives you the, the cub foo, and he tells you, hey, you've got to be friends with the cub foo, bring it back when you are, um, take it to see all these great sights around the island. So and here we are. We can. Do we have armor? No. The armor was metaphor. Oh, I just want to hold. I want my character to be wearing armor. Yeah. No. It's it's There's completely th metaphorical. Hey. Sandy gassed. That's cool. It's good to know that those are here. Get away um, from me, dog. But you got to put. I know, but he's he's he wants to come with me. Okay. Oh. You might want to throw a couple levels on the Cub Fu, too, just in case, since this is like a level 20 area. Get them up to like 15. Or I can just throw all the larges on us. Well, I wouldn't do that just in case. Why? Just for move purposes. We but can, I guess it doesn't yeah. fucking matter. We can go to the uh, move rememberer. Yeah. Let's just do all the mediums. There we go. No, we'll keep. We'll not learn scary face. Headbutt. Ooh, headbutt. I like headbutt. Yeah. So, really, the story for for the aisle isn't isn't really that that interesting. It's, break, break. Go do the thing. Okay. Go do the thing. Done. Got it. And I started Crown Tundra, and it starts off, you get off the train, and there is this guy yep, talking I, I've, to I've, I've done, his I've daughter. Done part of it, yeah. And she's like, hey, get away from me, I'm trying to I'm trying to do my own thing. And turns out it's her dad, and yep. he's just really super excited and wants to hang out with his, with his daughter. And she's just being, like, rebellious and is like, no, but I want to do it by myself. She's being a teenager about yeah. it. Yeah. And Where so, do I? Uh, what do I do with him? Is he in uh, your number one slot? Yeah. Okay, walk around with him. Whoops. Yep, that's not it. Where's he at? Oh, there he is. There he is. And at this point, I don't oh my really. God. Oh, hello. That's a that's a bad. That's danger. Um, are you on a exclamation point spot? I think. Yeah, I'm here. Or you're at least in the area. It's in Loop Lagoon. Oh, do I have to find a specific thing here? I think so, and I don't really know what. Or do I have to fight something here? No, you just you take him to see the sights. Um, let me see what I can find. Flip bug.
Oh my god. The sand woke up and said we're having a fight. Maybe visit a couple of these and speak to a dojo member at each. Oh, okay, so you're looking for the dojo members. They're um they're just trainers in fucking yellow jumpsuits. And you'll just talk to them and that'll be the uh be the spot you're looking for. Ooh. And this says, just go to a couple of them, then go back to the Dojo Master. Oh, God. That opens up the way to uh, to the two towers. Uh, we want, we want to, the water tower. Yeah, we want to fight in the That's water tower. That's a Gyarados. Tower. The problem is... Artillery. Cub Fu needs to be at least level 70 to gain access to the tower. Oh, gross which kind of makes us a little more broken than we wanted to be but we can just straight up commit to it and we know that we've got a contingency plan in case things goes completely sideways yeah <laughs> what do you mean i gotta be level 70 what the f why give us an island of level 15s and be like yeah but you gotta get 70 yeah i don't see any trainers out here maybe he's on one of the other islands i've been around Like, maybe go out and around out there. And yeah, why would the exclamation mark be in the center? I don't know. This the these maps are a bit weird. Yeah, I'm not in the, the No, nope, not in the stepping stones, it's in Loop Lagoon. Maybe he's farther north. Does that still count? I thought I had to be out here. As long as you're in the Loop Lagoon, like nor the, the northern side of of Loop Lagoon. Oh, oh is there that is. And that's what you're looking for. Man. <laughs> Both of us just slack jawed. Water. Wow. We were just out there. Yeah. Shut up. Okay, so it'll tell us when. Alright. So then... What's this one? Why is that there? Why is there an exclamation... Or uh, just a flag there? That's just a, a quest marker. It doesn't matter. Um... That's the Tower of Water right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess I'll go to Brawler's Cave. It's pretty easy. Let's go, Cub Fu! Yeah! Da -da -da -da. Get you broken as fuck! Yeah. So I guess, yeah, just dump it, dump all the fucking... Larges. Yeah, on it, at this God, point. that sucks. But that means... I would have loved to have, like, evolved him at, like, a low level and trained up him as an Urshifu. The other problem is there's five fights in each tower, which means we need more than him to be level 70. What are they, um... What are the levels there? Um... We're now the best of friends. Master Mustard will be happy. Man, Gunnerman became a master? Yeah, he did. Good. Yeah. Master Gunnerman Mustard. Gunner Mastered. Ma mastered. I do not know what their levels are, but just for the fact that it's uh, a requirement of being level 70, we can at least guess that that's what it's going to be. Which is fine, because if we take this team up to 70, I don't really want to get Kyogre up there. But if we take Xenos, E, and um, one other one up to level 70, we should be okay. I don't like close combat, but damn is it strong. Yeah. Focus punch is just not worth it. Neither was dynamic punch, so I didn't learn that. Okay, 
whooper. One whoopy boy. So let's go talk to Mustard. Who's Mustard? Oh, okay. So it, it's straight up you're you're fighting with with Cub Fu on up by itself. Oh. So, good luck. Where's Mustard? Uh, in his room to the far right. Oh. Now we're gonna talk about upgrading the dojo, I guess. Are you, you're Mustard? Yep. Why do you look so stupid? Bearmer. We walked to two places together. We're the best of friends. Yeah. We saw so many things. It was great. You know what this implies? Mm. That Leon has a Cub Fu. Yeah. At level 70. Somewhere. Or at least just a Cub Fu. Or maybe he just took the fucking Charmander and dipped. <laughs> I couldn't master it, so I just took this guy and left. Yeah. We want that one where the light is. Fuck that one. Shit, that one's got a light too. So minimum level is 70. I say just get him to fucking 80. At that point. That's so fucking unnecessary. I hate that I have to have a Pokemon that just breezes through the rest of the game now. Yeah. What was that? That was a Lilligant. Oh. Oh, he coming. Hello. What's going on? Sweet. Oh, fuck. Yo, scared he's gonna him. fight the bike. I scared him. But that's just one Mon. It's not like you're gonna be using Cub Fu for the, uh, for the gym anyway. But I want him. I want to use him. That's my thing. If I'm gonna put in the time and get him to learn this stupid fucking cool ass move, I wanna be able to use him. <sighs> that sucks. I already hate that he's level 50. And I haven't even fucking used him but in like one fight against a level 20 something. What are his stats? He's not bad. You could go fight Raihan and we can come back and do this later. But I, I I hate fighting things without fully evolved Pokemon. Yeah, so it's either do it or just fight Raihan. How much up how much of the episode do I have left? Uh that's probably it. Yeah. Because I think the, the other Five part minutes, was like, yeah. eight minutes, that's 13, and then that's 15. Yeah. So yeah, we're closing in. We really at episode 17? Yeah. Nice. I have to put together 11. That's why that's not in the list down here. Good shit. Alright, we'll see you guys in the next one when we figure out where we're going. <laughs>